Hey everyone, so it's another book haul. Um, this one's going to be actually fairly substantial. Like, I got a, a lot of books in the last two weeks, um, and not just ones I've bought. There's actually a lot for review, so I'm going to dive right in so this doesn't run too long. Um, first up, I got a couple of e-galleys. Um, first one is Not Now, Not Ever by Lily Anderson. And I got that from Wednesday Books via NetGalley. I'm super excited because that I um, loved, love, love, love. The only thing worse than me is you, which was Lily's debut YA that came out last year. And that one's a retelling of Eventually by Nothing. And this one, I think, is a retelling of The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. So, excited for that. Thank you to Wednesday Books. And then I got two others. Um, the first one is Sweet Spot and Ice Cream Binge Across America by Amy Ettinger, which is a food memoir, and I'm really starting to get into those, so I'm excited to review my first one, and hopefully it'll be good. And then I also got Murder, Magic, and What We Wore by Kelly Jones, which is, I think, like, Regency, fantasy, fun stuff like that. I think there's spying and whatnot, so I'm excited for that as well. Both of those are from Random House via Night Alley, so thank you to Random House. And then I got a lot of physical copies for review. First up, these actually I think arrived before the last um, Rewind and Review post, but I didn't get them until I got home. So they're both from Bloomsbury, particularly my friend Shay, who works in the sales department there, I think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, the first one is The Watchmaker of Filigree Street. Um, did I say that right? I'm terrible with words sometimes. It's a reader problem. Anyway, this is by Natasha Pulley. And it's historical fantasy, and Shay loved it, and she was putting together like a group of bloggers who would want to review the sequel, The Bedlam Stacks, which comes out in August. So she sent me both of them, since I've not read the first book, and I'm excited to dive into that soon, so then I'll be ready to read the second, which I think is more of a companion. So I could read the first, I could read this one without reading the first one, but apparently it will enrich my enjoyment, and I'm always for, if it will make my, it will, if it will enrich my enjoyment of a certain book, then I'll read the others first. It's kind of like I, like, recommend people read the Grisha Trilogy before they read Six of Crows. Things like that. Anyways, I also, um, novel, they, oh, thank you to Shay for those. I'm so excited to read them. And, yeah, sorry, still a bit scatterbrained, like, I'm still settling back in from finals and just getting home from college and all that, so yeah. Um, then the other book I got is from Novel and their monthly newsletter, and they sent out arcs with that. So this one that I got is The Unlikelies by Carrie Firestone. Um, it looks pretty fun. It's summer, and it's apparently, like, part Breakfast Club, part Disreputable History of Frankie Landau Banks, which I think is by E. Lockhart. I've not read that one, but it sounds familiar. So, thank you to Novel. I cannot wait to read this. It looks super fun, and I'm planning to get to it very soon. And then, I actually came home to this, we got home late last Friday night, and there was a box sitting on our back steps, and it was from Macmillan, and it was their new, what they're doing for their fall, their seasonal mailings, they're doing, you choose like a box that you want, and I got the exact one I wanted, so I'm super excited to share the books with you. Um, I, there's a couple that I'm not going to keep, um, one's already in a box I'm donating to a local high school, um, I think it was... Had to do with football, which is not my thing at all, but hopefully some other kids will like it. But I also got Flash Tide by Jenny Moyer. I have not read the first book, um, so this one I probably will trade, and hopefully some other blogger will enjoy it and have a good review and everything that they can share and whatnot. But I'm so grateful. The box also had The library of, Librarian of Auschwitz, which is by Antonio It Iturbe, something like that. Um, it's apparently based on a real-life story, so I'm very excited about that. It's very thick, and I love big books. I really do. Um, so hopefully it's really good. And the box also had The Midnight Dance by Nikki Katz, which is a Swoon Reads title. Um, it sounds fun and kind of spooky, and I love the cover. Let me see that. So that's the other book in the box. And then there was Meant to Be by Julie Halpern. Um, I know this is not the final cover, and I can't say I like this one or the new one better. Um, this one, I think, has been on my to-be-read list for since at least, I think, like, 
2016, 2015 maybe. So I'm super excited to read it and I hope it's good. And then I kind of saved the best for last. Um, I'm super excited about this one. I got to read an arc of her debut the year that came out um, thanks to a bookseller friend and then I got an arc of last year's. I don't remember how but I did. So this, oh, someone got it for me at ALA I think. So yeah. But this one is Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills. Look at that cover guys. Isn't that just gorgeous? She gets really good covers. I'm super excited for this one because apparently there's stuff to do with Shakespeare and then there's like friendship and romance as always I'm sure. Um, I really liked First and Then and This Adventure Ends is pretty good so I'm hoping this one is even better than First and Then. So thank you so much to Macmillan for including me in the fall mailing. This is the first time I've gotten arcs from them directly. Usually I just get e alleys and that's sporadically. So I'm super excited to be reviewing for them. Um, I think that's it for my review copies. So we'll move on to the books I got from trade and gifted. Um, the reason I put quotes around that is because technically I bought it but my mom paid for it so um, Jenny Han came to Richmond this past week for last week for her tour with the new release of Always and Forever Lara Jean and of course she had to come three days before I'd be home from college and I was so mad because she was literally going to be at the Barnes & Noble that's like super close to my house so I really wanted to go but I couldn't but my mom graciously agreed to take all my books and get them signed for me so she got me Always and Forever Lara Jean which is apparently the um Mina and Exclusive Edition, which has a special Q&A inside. And then the inside cover, they did something, if you've ever read Morgan Matson's books, they've done this with her last few, but they also did it with Jenny's. So it's got a special little fold-out inside um, that's different, slightly different from the cover. Then the inside is lavender, which will go nicely with the pink and the blue of the other books. And then it's signed. Which the other ones are too, but I'm super excited. I'm hoping that she'll come again to Richmond with a future book and that it'll be when I'm here and everything. Or maybe, I'm sure she'll stop in New York at some point and hopefully I'll be there within the next few years. But that's a whole other thing. Then I also traded for two arcs. I traded for an arc of The Long Game by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This came out last year and it's the sequel to The Fixer, which I love. And I knew I wanted to have a matching arc for my collection. So I traded for this and I don't remember who I traded with so I'm sorry but thank you anyways. I know I thanked you on Twitter so yeah. And then I also traded for an arc of When Dimple Met Rishi. Rishi? I know it. It's not Rishi. Uh, I, I feel like the book told me how to pronounce it and I've totally already forgotten. But it's fun, cute rom-com with Indian characters, Indian American. And that's so fun to see, it's so good to see really in YA that there's like more diversity not just in serious stories but also fun ones like Always and Forever Lara Jean, that trilogy, and now this one. So I was super excited to trade for an arc of this. I think I traded Emily, so thank you to Emily. And then I may have acquired quite a few books. Um, whenever my parents come to like pick me up or take me back to school, I tend to buy a lot of books at Joseph Beth just because it's my favorite bookstore in the whole world at the moment and I have a membership there so I get discounts and yeah. Um, so I got some of those books last week and then I also, um, my pre-order of A Court of Wings and Ruin came. It's, it's very hefty, it really is, but it was a nice break from finals week and packing, like I read it in between studying and packing up my room and it murdered me y'all like it, it so did um there's parts of it that I, I'm not a big fan of but I'm definitely interested to see where the companion trilogy will go I think I have a good idea of where it will go and I actually really like that direction um so hopefully that'll work well and I really do I love this cover y'all I love the green and I love the dress and I love that it's like fan art design so okay so now for the stack from Joseph Beth um, I am slowly now adding the Harry Potters to my collection. Um, I had the first one for a class last fall, but, and I kind of thought I should, you know, acquire all the others in order, but what was stopping me is that Chamber of Secrets is my least favorite, so I was kind of like, oh, but I don't want to buy that one next, you know, I'd rather buy other books. 
So this time I'm like, well, I should go ahead, since I'm writing an essay on why Severus Snape is the actual worst, I'm just writing this for fun, but I'm writing, like, I'm making it very academic and I'm using citations and all that, and so I need the books so that I can be able to quote accurately. So I was like, I'm going to buy two of the books I still need to quote accurately, so I'll buy Goblet of Fire and Deathly Hallows. And as you can see, there's post-its still in Goblet of Fire, so I haven't gotten to all the quoting from this yet, but... And this essay has been, writing this essay has been very satisfying and very good. And it's made, like, it's created a lot of room for venting with my best friend. So it's been really good. And I can't wait to finish it and share it with y'all on my blog in a few weeks, I think. Maybe about a month? I don't know. Sometime around then. So yeah, I now have three Harry Potter books. And I'm super excited about this. And I like, you know what? You see how fat these things are? They are as fat as... They're as long as, you know, A Court of Winks and Ruin and Empire Storms, and yet they're thicker. Why couldn't Empire Storms and A Court of Winks and Ruin have pages, like, that are this normal thickness? Why? Why? <laughs> Anyways. Other books I bought at Joseph Beth. A finished copy of The Long Game by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, which I did not own yet. So now I have my ARC and my finished copy, and I'm super excited, and it's going to look very nice on my shelf next to all the other books. And then I got two I haven't read yet, one of which is And We're Off by Dana Swartz, which I've heard as Gilmore Girls with a road trip, and that totally has me sold because I love Gilmore Girls, and I love road trip books. Like, they're always so much fun. So I'm super excited to own this one now, and to hopefully get to it soon. I've got... A substantial to be read stack between books I own and then library books. It's been so nice to be home because I have so many library books now, like so many at my disposal. That stack is like I think 10 books high. It's great. And then the other one I bought is a signed copy of Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith. I don't know how, I think they probably just sent some signed copies out to various indie bookstores and Joseph Beth got a few. Because I know that she didn't go to Joseph Beth on tour, um, which would have been... If she had, I would have totally gone. But I'm super excited to read this one as well. Um, I love her other books. And I've heard this one's really good. It's coincidentally, the... Not coincidentally. Incident. I don't know. <sighs> I'm supposed to be a writer. I'm supposed to be good with words. And yet sometimes I'm just not. But anyways, it's... The only book of hers that I own in hardcover, because I really like liked getting all her other ones in paperback for some reason. I don't know why, but I did. Okay, so that's all the books I got Joseph Beth. Still bought two more. Um, a fellow vlogger was is trying to clear out some of her shelves, so she had some hardcovers for sale, and I bought one from her. It arrived today, and it's The Conspiracy of Us by Maggie Hall. Um, I said I really wanted this series in hardback, and it's super fun. It's like... I, I think it's probably good for fans of Allie Carter and 39 Clues, things like that. So it's like you up in the street and all that. So yeah, thank you to Kelly for, you know, clearing out your collection so I could buy one of those books. And then I got a 15% off coupon from Barnes & Noble, which is kind of like my kryptonite. So I, we went tonight and I got that thing we call a heart by Sheba Karim. I think that's how you say her name. Um, it's got a Pakistani-American main character, and there's supposed to be, like, a pie shop, which is catnip for me, because I just, I love pie. Like, we literally went to the pie shop in downtown Richmond today, and I got two slices of pie. Usually I get one, but since I was buying today, I got two. That's how much I love pie. So, yeah. Okay, where did this random fly come from in my room? Well, on that note... I'm going to end this book haul video. There's a lot of new books for my shelves, and I had to do some rearranging already, and I'm hoping, really, really, really hoping I can get a new bookcase this summer so that I can fit all my YA on, all my YA books on, like, along this wall. And then I'll have room for my middle grade, and then my, my collections of certain authors like Allie Carter and Rick Riordan, Heather Vocal Frederick, Marissa Meyer, Lee Bardugo, authors like that. Um, so yeah. I hope y'all have a good weekend, Sunday, when you see this, and a good rest of your, like, a good week coming up, and hopefully I'll be able to do more of these the rest of the summer. I would really love to get back into the swing of doing book haul videos, because it's nice little, something to do differently on my blog than just saying, here's the books I got in a list, and now you can actually see them and hear me talking about them. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. See y'all later.